Yeah, I hate to refer to Vicki Thomas as one of the deans of bro Detroit broadcast journalism. That too often seems attached to longevity rather than expertise. But in Vicki's case, it is absolutely attached to expertise. She is leaving her post at WWJ News Radio after 30 years to become the communications director for the city of Detroit. And it is really good to have Vicki Thomas back on our airwaves again. Vicki, I, I joked when we did the story about your decision that you were uh, going over to the dark side. I, I'm going to assume that I'm not the only person who's made that joke to you. <laughs> you are not. You are not. And, and guess what my response is? I'm going over to the bright side. <laughs> we're we're going to really, really crank out some uh, information that residents can use. And I'm just really excited about it. So, no, I don't consider it the dark side at all, Devin. And thank you for having me back. It's been a minute. And I just want to take a minute to thank Marla Drutz and uh, all the folks at uh, WDIV Local 4 for supporting me over these years through NABJ and otherwise. And uh, yeah, I will be in touch for sure in this new role. <laughs> yeah, you probably, yeah, we might hear from you more, I, I, I suppose, because uh, obviously we're, we're, you and I are often on the air at the same time. Uh, but <laughs> I, I, I think that, that you are going to be missed in, in the fabric of Detroit journalism because, and in fact, you mentioned NABJ. You've been a mentor to a lot of other young uh, minority journalists. Uh, uh, we don't have enough of them in our uh, in our profession, as you know. And here you yes. are, one of the leading lights of that, with your involvement with an ABJ, uh, leaving the field. Any misgivings about that? Not at all, because uh, you know what, Devin. If it were not for NABJ, I wouldn't have uh, gotten the job at WWJ, and I've been a part of uh, NABJ for just about my entire career. Yeah. So. I will still be involved with uh, NABJ, and yeah. I will still mentor. We just uh, kicked off a mentoring program here in Detroit, the Detroit chapter, um, and we are really excited. Chanel Stitt is leading that effort, and I've already stepped up to be a mentor to uh, one of our um, budding journalists. Oh, that's fantastic, and I would expect nothing less uh, from the many years that I've known you and the way that you feel about uh, helping those around you. But Vicki, you also know, uh, as a journalist, we all have had uh, our own sets of frustrations when we deal with communications directors and press secretaries <laughs> of the politicians that we cover, and we roll our eyes and we just uh, throw up our hands at obfuscation and misdirection and not being uh, forthcoming with things. So tell me a little bit about how a journalist goes to the other side of that relationship. Well, you know what, uh, Devin, having been on the other side as a, a reporter, I know exactly what you're saying, and I certainly hope to be able to set a new standard uh, because, you know me, I'm pretty much uh, forthright, and, yep. you know, I try to get down to business. I'm a hard worker, and, you know, if you run into uh, stonewalling or whatever it, the case may be, roadblocks, um, I'm here to help. You know, when you get some of the journalists like you and I who've been around the block a time or two together, we kind of kvetch a lot. We sound like grumpy old men about, you know, it's just <laughs> not the way it used to be. What, what, what do you think about the state of journalism right now, given where we are coming out of this last election cycle? You know what, Devin, that, that um, it just puzzles me in one sense that, um, you know, the traditional journalism role is changing so much. Yeah. Um, I think there will still be a role for traditional journalists, but um, just the workload, issues like that, I'm concerned about my colleagues in the media. Um, and also, on the flip side of that, in the new media and um, outside of traditional journalism, I think uh, people have so many more opportunities. They're creating their own thing. They're doing right, their own right. thing, whether it be through social media, and they're, um, you know, catching on in, in many cases. So uh, I think in that respect, you know, uh, things are uh, hopeful. But I'm still really concerned about uh, the state of traditional journalism. Yeah, you and I both. Well, it's going to be a fascinating time for you to head to city. I don't know if anybody's mentioned to you. It's an election year in the mayor's office, so this could be a really <laughs> crazy year. But Vicky, best well, of luck. Well, you know what? Go ahead, quickly. Uh, Devin, I wouldn't have taken the job if I didn't think he would win. <laughs> uh, I suppose I, yes, there's a fair statement being made in you taking it, that's for sure. Vicky, best of luck in your new venture, and thanks so much for the, all the years of great work at WWJ. Thank you, Devin. I appreciate it. You Great bet. to be back on Flashpoint. You bet. The one and only Vicki Thomas, and that's going to do it for Flashpoint. Meet the press coming up next. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time right back here on Sunday.